точните обувки на Алан. This is Chris Hi, and nice uh, we've just been on the free walking Sofia tour yeah. uh, which was really interesting, really nice, entertaining as well. But Chris, I'm interested in what you said earlier on about um, yeah, how this came about. Uh, you, you're not receiving any sort of uh, state sponsorship to do this. Or, exactly. Yeah. Um, where has this come from, the idea to do the walking tour? Well, this tour has actually started in 2004 in Germany as a concept in mm -hmm. Berlin and then they spread all over the world and in 2010 we decided to start them in Sofia in Bulgaria yeah. uh, because we were a little bit bored of just seeing our friends we wanted to have a little bit more fun and also to show our city to people that are traveling yeah. because usually when you travel you don't have enough money all the time to pay for a guide but you still are interested into the city and usually people when they come here they just take few photos here and there walk a little bit and then they leave without a real impression of of the city and of the people and that's what we try to change here yeah well, you're doing a great job thanks a lot <laughs> i really, really appreciate it and uh, yeah Happy thank to you hear very that. much thanks a lot i think these free walking tours are a brilliant idea not only do you learn lots about a place but you get it from the unique perspective of a local person Next, we visited the Red Flat, which meant we could travel back in time to experience communist Bulgaria of the 1980s. What was really interesting wasn't the differences between East and West in those days, but the similarities. Many of the objects in the Red Flat I recognised from when I was growing up in the 70s and 80s such as this Balkan bike, which looked very like our chopper bicycle. And this music system looked very like one that I used to own. <laughs> 